Hello! I know it's been a while. <laughs> We're back again for another base showcase. This time from Ark Survival Ascended. And, uh, well, it's pretty gonna show off the island map uh, base I built, and then I'm gonna show up, show off the uh, Scorth Earth map base I built. So I'll see you on score third day when we're done here. So don't panic, don't you? You can jump around. Ah, oh, what the hell am I saying? Yes, yes. let go. Well, right. So, uh, don't mind the other. We're inside the um, space from that one. So I have. Um, it's in the middle of the night, so we should probably wait till daytime. So I'll see you. Well, let, let's show off how it looks. At night, first and foremost, at least. Yeah, you can see the light right there. And, uh, yeah, this is how it looks at night. It's not that impressive. So, I'll see you guys when it's daytime. So, until then, um, just hang tight and oh boy. <laughs> uh, let, yes, let's, let, let, let's just sit here and wait for a minute. Let's sit here and wait for a minute. Actually, I can, I can actually run around and do some other stuff, some maintenance while you guys sit around and wait. Huh. So... Okay then. Why not? There I ask, why not? Um... You guys are gonna see this place later in the daytime, so don't worry. Oh shit. Ouch. Okay, seems like daytime has... Okay, it seems like daytime has, uh, has arrived, so... Well, morning at least, so let's take a look at this place. We have this. Uh... I don't mind the fires in there. I have no idea why I put them in there. I think I had some plans for them, but I kind of forgot what they were. So let's start from the inside then, uh, from uh, this area. So first we have this right here. My uh, armor collection. Uh, I, I'm using this as loadouts instead of the actual loadout uh, stations from AC. Kind of missed those. Uh, missed those. So I have my trophy or flag. This is my trophy hall. So here we have all the sheep I got from uh, defeating the boss bosses, including this one, the rare unicorn TV. And all the artifacts as well. This empty area here used to be my um, smithy, and uh, here I and forge area. Right here used to have the big bloody forge. Removed it and uh, removed it. All of this was just. And these are all the blueprints I have. Have a lot courtesy of the uh, photo zone. And well, as you can see, I have an indoor farming and <laughs> potatoes like that. that yeah, yeah but the, it's just the potatoes. The carrots doesn't do that, just the potatoes. Weird, but anyway. This is my cluster. I can regret putting on the pillars here. I didn't have them before, but I realized. Well, it didn't make sense that the um, ceilings, especially stone ceilings, was uh, being kept up by nothing. So I ended up pretty much making the um, pillars here for no apparent good reason. We have uh, what? Because what? And one uh, well, my dung beetle, and it's as full as can be. It's as full as it can be. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's good, it's good. I haven't actually been needing it since, so... Oh yeah, I kind of made, made it like this because I wanted to be able to open up. 
make all of them to open up because, well, I thought it looked cool that way. We opened. But let's close all of this up actually oh, while I'm here. This is the main door out to the balcony. This white titanosaur. Yeah, I paint every damn little creature. I went with for the zoologist uh, price right there. So over there is my um, hide silo, courtesy of uh, Rasclart uh, of the monarchy. I'll post a link to his channel in the description because he was the one that designed that in his uh, one um, not one hundred days one in his um, Ark Survival Ascended Island videos. So thank you for that the design. So that design is his, it all his, it's all his idea. At least as far as I know, he was the one that came up with this design. So yeah. Here you have my uh, balcony, or not balcony, but uh, the road over to the next area. And over there is my smithing, a uh, smithy, hatchery, and well, I would say boss fighting arena. Uh, I made that. I put that there after. Oh well, I'll, I'll get into it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Now, where the hell is the way inside again? Oh, here we go. And I keep forgetting where to go in and out. It's the same with this. I keep forgetting how to go up and down from the staircase. A little bit of beer. Can't hurt anyone. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> uh, are you guys seeing this? Or am I tripping? I might have drunk too much beer. Hell. Anyway, let's go up here. This was my my idea of a bed area. Up here, everyone had to, there would be like a bed in every one of these areas. Like that, this is the end of this area here as well. And um, here are balconies as well as bird areas. Like the, I used to have one fire on each of these. But um, realized it didn't really make sense. So I put this there and it became a balcony, uh, just became a normal balcony instead. I tell you, it was a pain in the neck to figure out how the hell I would make it look like this. A lot of pain. What the hell? Am I seriously seeing things? What the hell? I should not have eaten a uh, drunk with beard. Beer. And it looks weird right now. Everything's weird. Everything's wonky. Oh, well, let's go down. Like I said, these are just in the way, but I'm too stubborn to allow them to be removed. Because, look. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That can actually lose on anything right now. Whoa! I'm stupid. Now I have to go all the way back up. My stamina is gone because of the blast and of the beer I drank. Stupid. Uh, well, <laughs> while we're here, let's fix it before I leave. <laughs> while we're down here, this is my storage area. Right here, along the, these uh, walls, I had my. Um, Map. Why it's blurred out on Scorth Earth, I have no clue. Anyway, um, right here I had only storage. And then I have this. This was much the starting point. This is where I began building everything. I was going to have this be the main hall, but I changed my mind and made a, a roof over here instead and just left this bed here. And like I said, I used to have the industrial forge here, but I moved it. Um, don't find the toilet. <laughs> uh, let's see, open up, uh, close down. This here was the main entrance at first, 
because it led out to this uh, bridge. No, not bridge. Um, oh well. To this boat area right here. I never actually did build a boat out of this. I had plans for it, but I never did. Um, and well, now you can see how it looks from outside right there as well. So that's my trophy area. It became that after I had uh, started defeating the bosses, I decided to hang all of them up there, including a uh, well, also, um, including bloody hell, I'm doubling all my words today. A flag from each one, and then we have, like that, this was supposed to be the entrance, the main entrance, uh, or it is the main entrance to this whole area. Um, yeah, so a few drums for no reason at all. Uh, let's go back up and fix this little stupidity of mine. And then remove this bean. Okay, there we go. Now we can go outside. Yeah, okay, it looks better like this as well, so it doesn't look too stupid. Still looks good, so yeah, okay, I, I'm fine with it, I'm fine with it, I'm fine with it, I am fine with it. Okay, so let's go through here. This became pretty much the way in and out for bigger dinos, uh, because I had birds and whatnot, fly in and out, codex and all of that, yes. So, um, that, that, I don't, not, I do not remember leaving that like that, but, oh well. Sure, why not? So, this is the hallway over to the foraging area. Like I said, I have all of these here. And this here as well. I used to have all my dinosaurs standing right here. Yeah, this is just a nice little area to look out over this place. Yeah, I have one of those as well, the turtles as well from the mod. Um, but yeah, so now we would go up here, and this is the forging area. Now, before, like I said, I had all of this inside, including these. But after I got the uh, my hands on the tech generator, I decided to move everything out here instead of having everything inside. And this became my uh, main gate or back door, however you want to see it. I built this bloody roof. No apparent reason other than I felt like it, I guess. I wanted to have a roof in the air, out there anyway. I don't remember why I actually wanted to get a roof. But it would look good. Yes. I made it way too high. <laughs> but let's get up here. So here I would have my um, uh, Quetzal. My Quetzals be here. Oh, okay. The. Um, um, our nightly visitor is gone, or left. Um, kind of inverted this, I don't know why. This was a pain in the neck to figure out how to do as well. Making this. But I did. <laughs> I did. Figured it out. I figured it out. And then we have this area right here then, like I said. The hatchery. I swear to God, this used to be hidden underneath the rocks. I don't well. Underneath the uh, ground, I don't well. You have drone, they drone. So that was my, like I said, my hatchery. I did all the breeding in here, over here, and then right here, and this little arena, this arena, little place. I had. I pretty much just put all the dinosaurs I wanted to use for boss battles and uh, had them heal up. This was, of course, before I got my hands on uh, this, the Dino Depot uh, terminal uh, mod. A lot of love this mod, it's, it's amazing. And later on, I decided to put this here. Easy way to upload my survivor and whatnot. I don't know why, but I want to have this design here. I don't know why. I just felt like it. 
I just felt like it. I'm gonna make this balcony here as well to look over uh, everything. I I never actually completed play, uh, this because there was supposed to be railings all around here, not just here. Railings were supposed to go all around. Just to make certain one don't fall off like this. That that would hurt. Like did there, I actually lost a little bit of health. Then I had this little sneaky sneaky entrance right here. Perfect fishing area right there. And uh, that became my main gate, so to speak. That's um, actually let's get up I'll put on the camera and go into camera mode because it would be easier to look at this place then. So to camera mode. There we go, there we go. Okay, over there became my um, I had to build that because sharks kept getting inside and attacking my sea creatures, so like I said, this was all filled with sea creatures before I got my hands on uh, the Dino Depot mod and the uh, Prime Pods. Yeah, so this is my base. It wasn't it. Uh, <laughs> wasn't how I envisioned it would look like when I began building it, but it came like this. See if I can get a better area to stand on to take it. I might actually take a screenshot you know, because sometimes here anyway. Whoops, wrong way. Here. So of course I also had this here. Uh, this was also a way for me to get in and out um, from this area right here. <laughs> it's actually a funny story how I ended up on this island, because this was not where I wanted to build my base. I was going to build my base over at um, a completely different area, but because of some sheer bloody dumb luck, thanks to um, a leech, I ended up over here, and I'm happy with that. So yeah. So, uh, this is my base on uh, score th on uh, the island. I'll see you guys on score third later. So, in a moment. Yeah, howdy. Howdy, I see you made it to score third as well. <laughs> Welcome, this is my base on score third. A lot more... Uh, Visually, uh, visually nice, I'd say. <laughs> Leave the windows. Well then. Oop. There we go. So, as you can see, uh, this is the Saloon, Saloon 2. I have two of them. We're once again inside. Now, don't mind this painting. Just painting. Apparently they are all... S I did not put this painting on the other side, but apparently it uh, pretty much just copied and paste to the other one, I don't know why. So here we have my uh, main base from on Fourth Earth. A lot easier to find this area to build in compared to that one. And uh, <coughs> this nice is a bit potatoes. <laughs> Again. So here you have my um, area of uh, forging and whatnot. Now, this time I actually did not make a industrial forge. I realized um, I just didn't have the need for it, because I realized making this thing was a lot more cost effective and would save me a lot of time considering all the stuff I kept getting or fetching. So this the other side of the saloon and uh, yeah, for some reason the paintings decided to copy it, uh, copy themselves. So that's annoying because I thought I could have two different paintings on each, each side. I uh, have what I mean with that map being a lot blurry for some reason. Okay, I don't know why this is so blurry compared to the islands, but oh well. 
back here, you have um, an area for those that get too drunk or need to be cool off of the, a bit too much uh, poker. <laughs> um, we have the toilet, uh, it's unfinished and so it's still in the work, work, and worked on. This is just the split hallway to get us into this area. And once again, these are all the cheaties I got from defeating the uh, bosses. Of course, there are some non cheaties as well, like Glotton. The first Rex I started to use for breeding Rexes. As well as the first Wyverns I used for, uh, or the final Wyverns I used for uh, breeding the um, Wyvern pair. As well as some. Uh, I just decided to leave the guard. <laughs> this is a bed area. A real bed area. And uh, again, Dino Depot. A lot of that, uh, that mod. Uh, been a great help, especially on this map. And here we once again have my armor collection. Now, I never did get. Uh, I never did put the armor down there, but uh, here we have this one the Manticore armor, which I used when defeating the Alpha Manticore. So this is, like I said, the uh, main hall, and we have all the trophies. Um, first and foremost, the uh, lovely artifacts, and then we have on this side the um, trophy helmets, or actual trophies. Why the Alpha and Beta Manticore heads look the same, I have no idea. But anyway, let's go upstairs next. Okay. And yes, this acted also as my breeding area, and uh, a little bit small for it, but it worked. Up here, as you probably already figured out from the potatoes, I have my uh, greenhouse. Now, I am loving the sign I got managed to get on this greenhouse, actually, uh, this triangle-like shape. And this tree in the middle, but it was a good idea for me on my part. Oh boy. I know that sound. I know that sound. A blasted thing is attacking my oasis or again. Ouch. Where are they? Where are those blasted things? Let's use you because your head is sticking through the wall. So... Okay, who's attacking you? Who's attacking you, you own grateful bastard? Who is it? Who is it? Okay, so one thing is dead over here. Guess it was fighting the Anki and lost. No, you're, you're, you're getting in my way for my presentation. You know that you bastards. Well, since we're getting a bird's view anyway, <laughs> or Wyvern's view, this is the area I decided to build in. My race is already, I don't know if you can tripod it or not, I do not dare try. Um, but yeah, so this is the this area, and a sandstorm is coming, of course a sandstorm is coming. Uh, we have this area right here, a little bit of a bridge over from uh, my base to the mainland. This was fun to build, um, really fun to build, actually. <laughs> bloody weather. This is bloody weather. We're, we're continuing when the weather is done. Oh, I'm gonna continue showing up this place after the weather is gone because it's getting in the way. A double weather through the thunderstorm and. No, oh, not fun to solve this thing, okay. And we're back again, and uh, finally the sandstorm uh, got fixed. So, oh, like I said, this is the entrance. You can walk in here, either from this door or the other, and this was my... Uh, well, I don't know what... Call it. I don't really remember. I want to call it a bridge because 
over the water. And it was, a, like I said, it was a ton of fun to build. Um, figure out how to get this design to actually work. <laughs> I, I was planning to make it a round edge, but I didn't want to break the stone, so I decided to keep it like this instead. Experimented a little bit with the uh, railings, whatnot, and uh, made this as well. It was fun to figure out how to get this to work as well, because making this was a pain in the neck. To figure out how to get this to work and look good. And then switching all of this to from, um, well, the, uh, well, from the greenhouse windows to these, really nice. Making the greenhouse windows was the pain in the neck on this map, I must tell you. <laughs> it was not fun. Uh, so getting arc here really helped out with that. Um, Yeah, uh, can I check your inventory now? Okay, let's see, let's put, uh, now. Nah. Well, for some reason this inventory stopped working, I don't know why. Uh, but the secondary inventory will stop working for some reason, so I, I don't know. Pretty, pretty much become useless now. I tamed them because I want to tame every new creature on the map. So, I, I haven't tamed any old ones, only new ones. Well, okay, that's a lie. I did him an Anki and uh, the most essential one, like a boulder or a bowling over here. Uh, I did have to tame those as well, after all. Uh, this is my uh, important source of course, where I have all those things. But yeah. So, this is my Scorth Earth base. Um. Honestly, I like it a lot more than I like the island base, but um, it's a bit big. <laughs> I'm gonna lie, it was making all of these adobe parts was pain in the neck. Uh, I actually ended up with this much much clay left. That's all the clay I had left after um, building this place. I uh, still had a, a little bit of sand left as well. And thatch and fiber, like making this was such a pain, such a pain. Because all of this is Adobe and um, well, it's a combination. It's Adobe wood and greenhouse. All of this. So making all of those parts was a, a pain in the neck. Also, a neat little trick. A trick I managed to get done. Thanks to the way I built this place, <laughs> I didn't really think about it when I built it, but it helped a lot. Oh yeah, I have these as well. This is where my power is coming from. Uh, I actually have not built the uh, tech generator due to it, but this is a thing I can do. <laughs> this helps a lot. Building, uh, building roof. Uh, the roof was also a pain in the neck to build, figuring out and uh, making all of these greenhouse pieces. Oh my god, this was annoying. Oh, it was so annoying. But it got done. It was done. So let's do like I did before and do a, um, a photo mode look at this place. So yeah, this is my scorth earth base. I am really happy with this. I am glad I managed to make it the way I did. It's awesome. So yeah, this is all the bases I've made on um, Ark so far. And um, I do wonder what designs I'm gonna make for um, the center and uh, later on the um, Aberration map. Yeah, this is my base. Like I said, now I'm going to go back to bed. And I will see you guys 
on the center or on aberration for the um, 100 days revenge of the center series that i plan to do where the center will try to bring me down once more and this time i'm gonna make things a little bit different 